If you have a protective style or you plan on it, you need to watch this video, okay? <laughs> another video it's your good sis curly chris and today's video we're going to be getting into what i do to maintain my protective styles if you have a protective style or you plan on it you need to watch this video okay but before i get into that y'all i know i have been kind of mia on my channel based on like how i usually post because y'all your girl your good sis had just been traveling living her best life but it was not intentionally planned for me to not post as much content on here it's just with the busy schedule and everything nothing was really lining up correctly so i'm back home now so prepare for more content to be coming to you guys but like i said in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i went from this with all that frizziness and everything to this where my hair is nice and neat, edges are slayed, all those flyaways are gone, and also my hair and scalp is moisturized. So if you are interested in seeing that, then continue watching and let's go ahead and hop right on into it. All right, sis, let's go ahead and hop right on into my protective style maintenance. So I've had these braids for about three weeks and they most definitely do get frizzy up on top. And I also have to constantly do my edges. And one thing for me is that I like to make sure my hair is properly taken care of, properly moisturized, well-maintained throughout my protective style. Because if not, then it's basically, basically preventing the benefits of having a protective style, okay? Like nothing's being protected. So the first thing first that I like to always do for my base and for my hair and my braids is to spray this leave-in conditioner. So this is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. And let me just tell you guys something. This right here is the absolute goat for all of my protective styles. You, you can go back like five years, four years in my videos and you will see that I still am recommending and using this product, okay? So I love this because for one, it's a spray leave-in conditioner so I'm able to access my scalp and my hair throughout the braids. And it also smells so doggone good, has bomb ingredients and it has Argan oil in it which is really why I think I like it a lot because I just love argan oil for my hair so you shake it to activate because the ingredients do separate so shake it and then you're good to go and I like to spray it oh y'all it feels so good and whenever I'm like you know on vacation where it's hot or whatever and I spray this onto my scalp girl you can't tell me nothing okay it just feels amazing and if you know me, you know like this is one of the only times when I actually use a spray leave-in conditioner. And I also make sure to get it all along my hair strands, which is also why I say I love this one because I'm able to moisturize all of my hair since that's typically neglected whenever you're doing a protective style. So make sure that you're not neglecting your natural hair. And it just makes you smell good as well. Like <laughs> it's a double, triple, quadruple whammy if you ask me all right and one thing i also want to mention is whenever i'm traveling i typically get a travel size spray bottle and just pour some of the products into this and bring it with me um i had a pink one for my recent trip but i can't find it it's somewhere in my suitcase so this is another one i just have but i want to show you guys what i do i mean you ain't gotta do like this but this is how i do it <laughs> if you know that tiktok you know that tiktok all right next thing that we're going to be doing is applying some oil to my scalp it's very very important that whenever you have a protective style you are oiling your scalp mainly after you've moisturized so I like to moisturize first with my leave-in conditioner then add some type of oil to my scalp to seal that moisture on in it's not it's necessary in my opinion um, I know not everyone does this but I just like to really take care of my natural hair whenever I'm protective styling so the two that I have been reaching for is the Creo Essence Haitian Black Castor Oil Black castor oil is amazing, okay, for natural hair. It helps to strengthen and grow, but also because it's a thicker oil, and I really do like the consistency of this one. But if you don't like a thicker oil, then I would recommend the Hey Curly Hair Revitalizer Oil. This is black owned as well. Both these are black owned. This is owned by a natural hair lifestyle influencer, Hey Curly. So she does have her own line as well. And it's also a very good oil that is more lightweight. But like I said, this oil is more heavy 
So I don't like to apply a whole lot. I just like to apply a little bit and then I, oh my gosh, I got it on my forehead. <laughs> and then I massage it on into my hair. Now I don't typically rub the oil down my hair like this, but if you wish to do this, it's also an additional step you can take to make sure that your hair is moisturized. So by this point, y'all, my hair is feeling healthy. It's feeling good. I'm loving it. So the next step that I'm going to be doing is actually laying down all of my flyaways. So my flyaways on the top of my hair, it, it's not that noticeable, but it just makes my hair look not as fresh and I'm not really a fan of that. So I like to take care of that. And what I'm gonna be using is the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. This is a gel to foam styler with aloe vera. Now the reason why I chose this one over my Nairobi or my, um, ooh, the Design Essentials one would actually be really good as well. But I'm gonna just try this one because it has a gel type of consistency, but it's also a foam. So I don't recommend using or applying gel directly to your scalp because it can most definitely cause buildup and it will be, it can cause knots as well when you go to take your hair down because that gel has just dried at the root. But this is more of a foam type of consistency. So I am more safe and I feel safer using this. So I'm going to apply a few pumps to my hand. So I apply it to my to my scalp and then I'm just going to rub, bring it on down. And like I said, this is a step that I will only do like once every two weeks. So like twice a month because I just don't want to cause any buildup. But basically, it's going to lay down all of those flyaways that we just now saw. And this is what's going to make your style look so much more fresh and just newer because the flyaways is what basically ages the style. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I kinda like whenever my braids do look a little bit, you know, older than just fresh because I feel like it makes it look more, I guess you can say like natural, but, um, I don't like for the flyaways to be there. I just like for the the parts to not look as new. And I'm gonna also take a little bit more of that styler and just rub it on top, as well as down my braids a little bit. But not too much because we don't want that natural hair to start peeping through, okay? Now, although that did help us a lot, baby, we are not finished. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pull this back I'm basically just taking my braid and wrapping it around, making it turn into like a ponytail. This is just what I do very quickly whenever I don't have a ponytail near me. And I'm going to now address these edges. Y'all know me, I'm an edges kind of girl. If you are not someone who likes to maintain your edges, that's your business. But for me in this household, I'm a lady's edges, okay? And you ain't gonna have nothing to say about it. Period. <laughs> so my two Holy Girl products is going to be my toothbrush, my edges toothbrush, and my Africa's Best Honey and Castor Edge Gel. If you know me, if you know me, you know how I rock and roll behind this bad boy right here. Y'all, this is the only edge gel I've ever used in my life that does not revert my edges whenever I go outside. Whenever I'm on vacation, that's different because I'm constantly outside. Like we just now went to Orlando and I was constantly outside. So it did, you know, revert. But whenever I'm doing my day-to-day -day life out here in Austin, no reverting whatsoever, even in New Orleans. Now, before I start, I'm gonna prep my satin scarf. This is a long square satin scarf. And I'm basically going to, oh wait, actually, I'm going to just turn it into a triangle, okay? So it's now a triangle like this. So you do this by just folding it in half. And I'm going to leave this right here. So whenever I'm ready to tie up my edges, it's ready for me. You want to have that ready so that you can immediately apply it to your edges so that nothing changes or anything like that. So I'm just brushing out my edges with my 
damp toothbrush. And then I'm going to go in with my edge gel. So I just simply apply it all over my entire perimeter first. And now we finna show up the dupe, baby, okay? All right, I finished them and now I'm going to immediately go in and tie up my edges. We don't waste no time, okay? And I'm also going to undo the little knot I made back here. All right, so y'all just now saw what I did. I just now tightened all of this so that all that mousse that I applied could be activated and my flyaways could be laid down. All right, boom. So now my scarf is applied and then I just let this sit for about an hour. But if you want it to go faster, you can also blow dry it. I just realized that I actually don't even have two hours to waste. So I'm gonna go in with my Dyson and blow dry my roots. Warm heat. All right, girl, so it's been about two hours and now it's time to take this down. Do y'all see how flat? Oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna lie to you right now. I was not even expecting it to look this flat. Like it is laid, honey. The edges actually look really, really good as well. I'm gonna give you guys a little tip that I do whenever a little white cast is left on my edges. Don't judge me, okay? It's just my body, my head, my hair. I just like that and just dab it. And girl, all that little white come off. This right here is kind of messed up a little bit, but it's okay. Y'all, it looks so good. So literally, girl, that is how I refresh and maintain my hair to keep it looking nice and sleek and new. Also, I'm gonna share with you guys what I do whenever I go to bed because I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking that as well. So the main two things that I use whenever I go to bed is once again, my silk scarf and a bonnet, a silk bonnet at that, okay? This one is from um, All Natural Glow, actually, another black-owned business, woman-owned business. And I love this silk bonnet because it has this, um, it's like an elastic that you use. To, I use it to tie around the front of my head and then to tie it around to the back so that it keeps it nice and secure on my head. It does not fall off. And it also can serve as like laying your edges as well. It's like a two in one. But what I typically do is apply my scarf to my head first and then put the bonnet on top as extra security and also to protect the bottom parts of my hair. Because in case you guys don't know, it's really not good to sleep on your hair at all, even if it's in braids, because it can allow, it makes it look a little bit, you know, just like frizzy because some of your natural hair starts peeking out, some of the braid hair is not in the same direction and it starts to poke out. It can just look a little bit, you know, not put together. So I just like to make sure that I am sleeping with satin either on my head or with my satin pillowcase. My satin pillowcase is from Blissey, but honestly like any satin pillowcase will do. 
And the last thing I want to mention is in case I do feel like I need to wash my braids, um, I will be using the Curl Smith Curl Quenching Co-Wash because it is a co-wash and I don't feel like I need to shampoo and deep condition my braids. So I'm going to be using this like two in one, so to speak, in case I do feel like I want to just, you know, wash my braids or if I go swimming in chlorine and I want to, you know, cleanse it. But if you are going swimming in chlorine, you should probably use a shampoo, not a co-wash, just saying. So sis, that is the end of today's video. Let me know in the comments if you guys did enjoy today's video. And also, what tips are you going to be taking away? What are you going to be implementing into your routine? Also, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And subscribe to the Curly Crew because we would love to have you. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video slash vloggy vlog.